I installed the iOS 26 update on my iPhone and 10 minutes later, I was customizing my app icons, controlling apps with my face, changing the background of my message threads, and trying out so many new features that will blow your mind. First, your iMessage chats can finally feel less boring because now you can change the whole background of the conversation. To do it, open a chat, tap the contact's name at the top, then tap backgrounds. You can actually upload your own photo from your Photos app, or you can choose Apple's animated ones, which I absolutely love. Some of the animated options that we get are color, sky, water, and aurora. Within these four options, if you scroll, you'll find out that you have even more color options to choose from. But just so you know, when you pick a background, the other person will see it too. So don't choose anything embarrassing unless you want to start a whole different conversation. While we're on messages, do you remember that Genmoji was introduced to us with iOS 18? Well, now with iOS 26, it got an upgrade. You can now get even more creative and combine a few emojis to produce one emoji. In your messages app, tap the emoji icon, then tap on Genmoji and hit the new emoji button. Now pick any number of emojis that you want and Apple intelligence will mash them together for you. Let's say you're thinking a pizza and sunglasses. Boom, you got it. Or maybe you're thinking a crying cat that's laughing at you. <laughs> Well, there you go. Now, if you send it, it'll save in your sticker section forever. It's perfect for expressing that specific mood that no other emoji covers. Messages got another really cool update that you should definitely try, especially if you text people that speak other languages or you're bilingual and want to show off your skills to your friends. iOS 26 brought the auto translate inside the iMessages app. So if you go to any conversation, tap the contact's name, then turn on automatically translate. Here you'll be able to choose your language. I'll choose translate from German and choose translate to English US. Now when you send a message in English, you will see this new pop-up that will show you the translated version to German. And incoming messages in German get translated for you in the same way. This is such a great feature and it's honestly a bummer that we only have a handful of languages to choose from. So I really hope that with future iOS 26 updates, we'll have more languages. If you didn't know at least one of the features that I showed you so far, this is the right time to like, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications before I show you some new camera features. Now the camera app didn't just get a fresh new app icon. It actually got a full makeover within the app. When you open the app, you only see the photo and video modes up front and no clutter. But if you want to shoot in portrait or film in slow-mo, just swipe left on the bubble or right to find them. And if you want to tweak settings like exposure, flash on or off, and filters, just tap on this new button or swipe up from the photos mode. Apple really simplified the camera app for casual users, but still kept all the pro tools just to tap away. The next new camera update is for everyone who forgets to clean their lens before taking a photo or a video. If you're like me, you've probably gotten frustrated because your photos turned out blurry. And you realize only after taking your photos that your lens was smudged this whole time. Well, now your phone will remind you to clean your lens. To enable this feature, go to settings, scroll down and go to camera. Scroll all the way down and turn on lens cleaning hints. And next time when you try to take a photo and your lens is dirty, your phone will flash a friendly reminder to wipe it off before you snap that blurry picture. Now, one of my favorite features on iOS 26 is turning any image into a 3D spatial scene. If you open any picture in the Photos app and look for the new spatial scene button, just tap on it. Your iPhone will separate the background from the foreground and add a depth effect. You can now tilt your phone and watch your photos subtly shift like a mini hologram. Now that we've went through everything new on the camera and photos app, how about I show you how you can control your whole iPhone with your face only. I've made a few videos on how you can control your iPhone with your eyes only, but iOS 26 now allows you to control your whole iPhone with just your face, no eyes, no hands. To set it up, go to settings, then find accessibility, then go to head tracking. Turn on track with face, and then turn off dwell control. Next, on the same page, you can assign face gestures. For example, I'll choose smile to tap, Stick out your tongue to open the camera. Once it's all set up, moving your head moves the pointer on your phone and your expressions will trigger actions. This feature is great for accessibility, but it will definitely give us all some premature wrinkles. And now let's talk about Apple giving us new customization tools. 
Apple finally lets us customize our lock screen more. I feel like Apple has always been so stingy when it comes to customization, so I'm really excited about this one. I was showing you how you can create 3D images in Photos app. Well, you can actually apply that same 3D spatial effect to your lock screen wallpaper. Better yet, the wallpaper can still appear in the front of the clock with this feature. To do this, choose an image you want to set as your wallpaper, then from here, press on the spatial scene button and adjust your image. Make sure that the depth effect is on so the time is behind your object. With iOS 26, what you can also do is tap the time to resize it and recolor it. You can choose this new glass look to your time and you can also tint it to match the color of your wallpaper. It's a simple way to make your lock screen uniquely yours and it works so well with animals, people, or any other images. As you probably have seen, your home screen apps also got a huge upgrade. Now your app icons have this liquid glass look to them, but you can do so much more. If you long press on the home screen, tap edit, then customize. You'll see four different liquid glass icon styles to choose from. But personally, I really like the tinted icons because they match my wallpaper better. But some of you may not actually like the liquid glass update because it's hard to read things on top of it. If that's the case, no worries, just go to settings, then go to accessibility, and then press on display and text size. Then from here, turn on reduce transparency. This will add a frosted glass layer, as you can see, and boost visibility for you. So everyone that was hating on liquid glass with the first beta version, well, Apple listened to you and they delivered. But personally, I did get used to the liquid glass look and I love it. And now let's get into a few other features that Apple delivered to us. Here's the super handy new productivity trick. You know how you can circle to search on a Samsung phone? Well, Apple now has it too. I know, these companies always copy each other like we won't notice. But basically, you just take a screenshot of anything you want to learn about, maybe a cool shoe, a recipe, or a dog breed you don't recognize, then tap on this image search button, or you can literally draw around the object. And boom, you can swipe up and see the search results. But honestly, it gets even better. In the same screenshot window, you can tap Ask ChatGPT and literally ask questions about the image. Right there on your screen, like what breed is this dog? It's so handy and the best part is after you're done with your search, the screenshot does not get saved unless you press the check mark icon and save it to your photos. Speaking about screenshots, your iOS 26 got smarter with dates and events. If you take a picture of an event flyer with a date and time, and then screenshot that photo, your phone will recognize it and pop up an add to calendar button. If you tap it, your event gets scheduled immediately with all the details too. No more forgetting events because you took a photo and promised yourself that you will remember it. Trust me, you won't remember, so let your phone get it on your schedule. You can also let your phone do this. When someone like your bank company, yes, Wells Fargo, I'm talking about you, Anyway, if they put you on hold, your iPhone now gives you an option to put them on hold too. You will get a notification as soon as they're back so you're not stuck listening to endless elevator music. Now, did you know that your snooze duration was set on nine minutes before iOS 26? And you couldn't change it, it was set on nine minutes. I talked about it in my last iPhone tips and tricks video, but it's an iOS 26 update, so it deserves to be in this video as well. If you go to your clock app, press on alarm, tap on your alarm and then go to snooze duration. You can now pick any snooze length from one to 15 minutes. So whether you want a quick two minute nap or a luxurious 15 minute nap before you finally get out of bed, you can do it. Let's move on to the next iOS 26 feature. Do you ever get calls from numbers you don't recognize? And you wonder if it's spam or someone important calling you? With iOS 26, your iPhone makes the caller say the name and justify why they're calling first before you even pick up. To set it up, go to settings, scroll down all the way and go to apps. Then find the phone app and go on it. From here, turn on ask reason for calling. Now when an unknown number calls, the person has to say their name and the reason why they're calling. Then you get to see that as a message, then decide if you want to pick up or ignore. If you've liked any of these new iOS 26 hacks, let me show you how to actually install this update onto your iPhone. On your iPhone, you have to go to Safari. Then you have to go to developer.apple.com website and you will need to sign up with your phone's iCloud email. To find your iCloud email, just go to your settings and press on your name or whatever it's going to be. And right below your name, you're going to see your email. But anyway, once you signed up, that's it. Now go back to settings, then go to general, go to software update, and before you only had one option, which was automatic updates on or off, but at the bottom, you'll see this new beta updates, click on that, 
Here you're gonna have it on off so you can then choose iOS 26 public beta or iOS 26 developer beta. Once you make your choice, go back and on this page, you will see the new iOS 26 beta update. Before you update it, make sure that your iPhone is backed up so you don't lose any content. And if your iPhone is already backed up, just press install and enjoy your new update. Well, that was iOS 26. I wonder which one blew your mind the most. Like this video if it helped and if you're already controlling your iPhone with your face, blink twice. Signing off till the next one.